Hello, this is Music Tech Help Guy. Welcome to episode 9 of my Logic Pro 10 video tutorial series. In this video, we'll take a look at some of these zoom controls and the more important zoom shortcuts. And knowing these can help you to speed up your workflow as well as get your job done quicker and easier. So the most basic way to zoom that we went over in one of the previous videos was to go up to the upper right corner here and there's two sliders, uh, one for your vertical zoom here and then one right next to it for your horizontal zoom. Now there's nothing wrong with zooming this way, it's just that you have to always pull your mouse up to the upper right corner in order to zoom, which takes extra time. So if you know the proper zoom shortcuts, you can get the exact same function done faster. Fortunately, there are a lot of zoom shortcuts that we can utilize that can really speed up our workflow. So one of the leftover zoom shortcuts from Logic 9 is holding Control and Option to turn your current tool into the zoom tool. So you just hold Control and Option and you'll see it change to the zoom tool. And then what you can do is just hold Control and Option and drag over the regions you want to zoom in on and it'll zoom in on them. And then you can also just hold Control and Option again and click to zoom back out. There's also an added function in Logic 10. Instead of holding Control and Option, you can just hold Option and it'll turn it into the Zoom tool. The only difference here is that the Zoom tool only shows up when you're over the background and it doesn't show up when you're hovering over a region. So uh, you can see here the, the icon is toggling back and forth between the Zoom tool and the Pointer tool. Another set of really useful zoom controls requires that you have a mouse with a scroll wheel on it or that you have an Apple Magic Mouse where you can scroll up or down or left and right. And to engage these shortcuts you hold Option or Option Command. So when you hold Option you can scroll up or down and basically what it does is, is it zooms vertically. And then if you have a Magic Mouse you can scroll left and right uh, for horizontal zooms. I'm just holding Option and scrolling left and right. The second function is Option Command. If you scroll up and down with Option and Command, it's a horizontal zoom. And then if you hold Option Command and scroll left and right, it actually turns into a vertical zoom. So it's just the exact opposite of what we did before. Another shortcut I use all the time is Z. And what Z does is it zooms everything to fit the window. So what you do is you uh, click on the background here to deselect all of your regions. You hit Z and it'll zoom all, everything in your session to fit the window. And you can hit Z again to uh, zoom back out. Another quick trick you can use with the Z button is to click on an individual region or a selection of regions. And then you hit Z and it zooms to fit just that one region or selection of regions to fit the window. And again, like we did before, you hit Z again and it'll zoom it back out. When it comes to zooming your session, there is one more zoom tool I want to show you that affects the zoom here in the arrange area, and that is just manually selecting the zoom tool from your tools menu. Now I don't recommend using this tool, it's here, but I don't recommend using it um, because it's the least uh, efficient uh, tool time-wise for zooming. Any of the shortcuts are going to be much faster than using this uh, manually. But it functions the same way as the control option tool. You drag over the regions that you want to zoom in on and it zooms in on those. And then uh, what you can do is click again to zoom back out. So again, personally, I think it's the least efficient way to zoom, and honestly, I'd rather use my uh, tool slots here for something more useful than the zoom tool. So far, we've only been talking about session zooming, essentially zooming our regions within our arrange window here. Another type of zoom is waveform zoom. It's located right up here, and what waveform zoom does is it allows you to zoom the height of the waveform within your regions. So if you click and hold on this icon, you can increase or decrease the size of the waveforms within your regions. Now this is really useful if you have a recording that's really quiet and you can't see the waveform very well. So what you can do is just increase the zoom of the waveform on the track to see it better. However, I should mention that although it looks like the track is louder when it's zoomed in, you're not actually affecting the gain of the track, just the zoom. The next type of zoom I want to show you adjusts the individual height of each of the tracks. So if you hover over the joining point between any two tracks, you can adjust the individual track zoom. And you do this just by clicking and dragging down or dragging up. You can also affect the track zoom horizontally by hovering over the rightmost point of the track header. And then again, just like we did before, you click and you can drag left or drag right to shorten or lengthen the track header. 
Now, let's say you have a session where you've got a bunch of different tracks at different track heights like I've got here, and you want all of them to conform to the same track height. You want them to all be the same. A quick way to do this is to hover over the joining point in between any of the two tracks and then hold shift and then click on it. And what it'll do is it'll conform all of the tracks to be the exact same height. What this is actually doing is just setting all of your tracks back to their default height based on the zoom sliders in the upper right corner. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video. And in the next several episodes, we'll be taking an in-depth look at audio editing and the edit tools in Logic. But I figured I'd throw out this short uh, uh, video on zooming just because, well, it's something we need to know how to do before we start editing audio. And it can really be a time saver when it comes to uh, knowing all of those shortcuts. So thanks again for watching.